Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another vlog. I'm just going to do another week in my life because I don't know what else to film. But this morning I am teaching, I'm guest teaching on the Oro app, which was created by Sweats in the City. So that's gonna start at 9 a.m. It's about 8.30 right now. I got up around seven. I woke up like at least three times last night and I had terrible nightmares. So that was not fun. I think it's kind of taking like sometimes melatonin will do that to me and I've been kind of taking it recently because last week I couldn't sleep at all. But yeah, I woke up, did a little journaling. I got this journal from, where did I get this from? I'll write it on the screen. I like, I'm having a, a blank in my mind. But yeah, it's a little bit like too much. Like I wish there was something just a little bit quicker. I have been trying to do that like the past three days. That's all I can account for and I usually just take like a blank notebook and write out a to-do list and then I bring out my calendar on Outlook and I try to like time block my days. It's you know, it is what it is. I think I'm getting lunch with Madison today, so I'll take you guys along for that. Uh, what else do we got going on? Later this week, I'm shooting with Kaylin. Yeah, I'll just take you guys through my days and what I'm doing, but this will be my workout this morning. This is the workout. I like try to make it clean and pretty, but sometimes it just doesn't happen. I'll usually write that out. I have like a timer going over there. So yeah, I have to use no mic today, so I'm kind of like a little nervous about that. Yes. Good morning. All right, I'm gonna go teeth. Workout complete. Nice and sweaty. I actually feel exhausted. Hopefully I get a second wind. I'm gonna go shower and then I'll come back once I'm ready for my day. All right, so sorry. This was a lot prettier before. But for breakfast, I'm just having Greek yogurt, oatmeal, granola, honey, and granola butter and hemp seed. Um, yeah, that's my bad. It looks kind of like shit now, but it's delicious. Okay, I showered and I'm getting ready. I already have foundation and concealer on. I actually wanted to chat a little bit about goal setting. I've never been that like good at it, but I do think that it does help produce results if you do it properly. I'm obviously still learning. I'm kind of proud of myself. Last night I did like a January reflection in that vision board uh, binder that I made and just kind of compared what I accomplished in January versus my like annual goals and what I can do better in February. One of the main things that I kind of realized is that to work on my time management and productivity, obviously working for myself, that's like a skill that needs to be improved. Just way different than if you're working for somebody else and you have deadlines and other people are counting on you really being able to hold myself accountable and I think in January it could have been better there's definitely a lot of wins throughout January but there's like always room for improvement point heading into February my phone time has been insane recently obviously working in social media like that's kind of bound to happen but I just find that it's so distracting and I get so off task I think I really need to figure out boundaries to put on myself phone whether that is doing no phone time setting it aside i don't know i'm gonna brainstorm ideas maybe do some research online but i definitely think that that is cutting into how productive i'm being on a day-to-day -day basis because i get so sidetracked and everything takes way longer than i expect it to one of my financial goals was to really stay on top of like where i'm at in terms of like expenses and just become more familiar on like what am i spending my money on where can i be smarter I have like an excel budget sheet just like like I load all my big statements into the document so I can have a really clear picture of like what's going on. I did not use it once throughout January. I like put on my calendar a weekly like check-in and I miss every single one of them because I just like didn't want <laughs> To do it i'm going to try to do that and then kind of the last big idea i was really thinking about last night is comparison the pressure and i feel like that's applicable to anyone honestly like we all deal with it with like social media being so prevalent it honestly is so toxic but it's also so inevitable so i don't know how not to compare myself to other girls who are, you know, finding success in ways that I'm not, to friends. I don't know, it's tough. Obviously, it's talked about like more and more, I feel like, which is good, but I don't really know how to stop it. I am constantly comparing myself to other people. Like, I would like to try to minimize or just like learn to be more grateful with what I do have. Anyways, I just thought I would share some of those takeaways. Obviously, if you know me, I'm like, not really a deep person, that's just not really my MO, but it's in a while, I get there. Okay, classic me, I just put on all black, and I'm running so late once again. I literally 
actually hate all my clothes to a point where it almost brings me to tears. I am off. We're going to Maman on Hudson to run there. Don Madison, we're just enjoying some coffee and talking business strat. What are we gonna do in 2022? I feel like always they're saying like it's so nice having, well, we like kind of just met, but I feel like I've known you. Is that crazy? Um, but it's nice having like people in the, doing the same stuff because we're all having the same issues and it's just nice to talk it over. So yeah, we're just wrapping up here. I don't know if we're gonna go on a walk or do what? Kind of nice out. I know, it is kind of like gorgeous out. I wish the snow would go away though. Cheers, Cheers to that. Actually, do you wanna say your coffee order? Mm. I got an almond milk chai today, actually. Very on winter brand, and it's good. And yeah. what do you read it? Oh my gosh, this is a really good chai. <gasps> I'd say the chai is like an eight out of 10. Okay, that's a pretty eight solid. One, eight one, I don't like using brown numbers. Black coffee with a splash of oat milk, and I mean, it's like so standard. Seven, three, like Like nothing tea. to call home about. But it's definitely good. Okay, I'll okay. take it. Great. Home now. <clears throat> Well, I'm home now. I'm just chilling. I had some. I got Chipotle yesterday and then I had it for lunch and dinner and now I'm having it again. I just got rice, chicken, and beans and then I'm literally like, I'll save this and put it in another salad. I added like my own kale and some hummus and some other things. And that is like my hack for the week. Chipotle instead of going grocery shopping. Feel free to try it out. I just got this box from Target that Lindsay so kindly brought up for me. I should be careful. I'm kind of prone to cutting myself. I get it from my mom. Moment, please. The reason that I wanted to target was to get a new cutting board because ours fell between the countertop and the refrigerator, and now it's just like a lost soldier, so I had to order a new one. And that's the only thing not in this box. I got more Swiffer dry things, and I got an Aquaphor. Love. And I got a refill on this mascara that I like, the Luminous Original Violet, because I have green eyes and it looks really pretty on, and the one that I have is, but probably should have been thrown away like months ago. I have to make my February FX sweat, the entire schedule and the entire challenge, because of course I left it till today to do. I'm gonna work on that for a while, and then I think I'm meeting up with Josie later, and we're getting sushi. How good does sushi sound? Ooh. All right, I put on this whole sleeve set, it's like, Olive green, but you can't tell. My room is looking messier by the second. I'll clean in the morning and makeup's looking ratchet. But I'm gonna go to Josie's. Yeah, it's like 6 15. Hey guys, just got to Josie's. We ordered Kazunori. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh, wait, look at Kitsy really quick. In my messy apartment. She's still unpacking from the move. Big move to downtown. Woo woo! Anyways, we're gonna do a sushi mukbang as a separate video. So unfortunately that will not be in this vlog, but go watch it. And um that's all. Thank you. Thanks. Good morning guys. I just got ready and I'm going to the studio because me and Kaylin are shooting some content for Bandier. Um so yeah, I'm in my Valentine's Day set. I'm running late as always, so I gotta go, but I'll show you more once we get there. We just got to the studio. Um, I've had quite the morning. I had like a Starbucks situation. As I was walking here, I stepped in a massive puddle and it got all over my leggings. <laughs> Wait, we look so like cute oh, though in the red. We're so matchy. I love it. Um, we're gonna just film some content um, right now and then I'll check in with you guys after because we gotta get priorities in order. <laughs> okay, you guys, we just wrapped. I think we got everything. Kaylin, how are you feeling? I feel like we did good. I feel like we did too. I head out, grab a bite to eat, and take out the photos, edit together the video clip. So yeah, I'll, I'll check in with you guys when we get to lunch. We are just at Westville. We got a little lunch, and then we're gonna go through all of the photos and stuff. Kaylin, do you wanna say what you got? I got sweet potato, beets, and broccoli with like garlic. Um, and I got the broccoli, cauliflower, and then yucca fries as a treat. Just gonna eat it. Just got home from the shoot. It's like raining and the vibes are kind of low. So I'm going to lay in bed and edit all of the videos, but I did get another package from, ooh, that's my address, from Enlighten. Tried their stuff before. It's good. I love dessert. You guys know. This box contains dry ice. This doesn't sound good. Oh my god, I'm so excited about the cookie dough. I love cookie dough. So yeah, there's ice cream too. 
but the cookie dough's new. It looks pretty good. There was like a few questionables, but I'm not crazy. I will eat anything in moderation. I'm gonna put everything away and then probably just hang out and edit. And then I have dinner later tonight. All right, you guys, we are getting in a nighttime sweat over here. So I usually will just write something up and then um, I have my mat out and just like in a little biker set. I hate working out at night, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> It is about 5.30. Uh, Trader Joe's sells these uh, pre-made filets, which I really like. Three minute rice from Trader Joe's, so I'll do that as well. If I'm still hungry afterwards, I'll probably make a smoothie. Also to get some greens in, because obviously there's nothing green about this except for this packaging. You guys, once everything's done. All right, you guys, this is the finished dinner. I'm just having the rice, salmon. I cut up a cucumber and salted it, and then I made a regular spicy mayo. I'll just list the ingredients on the screen here. I did end up saving some of the salmon because recently, if I eat like a whole salmon at a time, I don't know, it just starts tasting bad. I didn't like it. Okay, so I'm gonna teach PT now. We do it on Zoom, so I just put my computer right there and then i have like a ring light because it's dark and it just like makes it a little better pretty casual like i've been training her for like over a year so we're just best buds now so i'm gonna teach this class and then um i'll show you guys once i get ready also like don't ask me i have so many things i need to buy right i just added like a hundred things of skims into my cart and i'm like kind of thinking about going through with it oh i didn't want to get both these bodysuits or did i <sighs> decisions decisions do i pull trick perfect Try to keep that chest up. Good adjustment. You're giving me that press overhead, yeah? Firing up that hamstring and glute. You've got 22 seconds. That's four, three. Makeup is looking a little heavy. I'm wearing what I always wear. Black shirt, black puffer, jeans, and um, like Zara cowboy boots. I'm always running late, so I have to go. I might try to get some clips at dinner, but I don't think I'm gonna bring my camera off.